Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Chelsea and if you're new around here we like to do beauty related content on this channel. If that's something that you like then please hit subscribe and if you're already subscribed then please click on the little bell and you'll be notified of every time they upload. So we've got it. We've Oh, what is going on in my hair? We've got and we are living our Beauty Bay dark fancy moment. We created this eye look. This is like a first impressions video. I played around with some of these. I've got mixed opinions on these. But if you want to see how I created this look, then hear my thoughts, season's watches, then please stay tuned. So this palette launched, well, the whole collection launched probably like, like a week or two ago, I think. I actually purchased it as soon as it launched because this is right up my alley. Like First of all, the packaging just looks amazing because it's giving me Matrix vibes and I'm here for it. I love grungy makeup, grungy clothes and things like that. But yeah, this is just everything that I want in a palette. You've got your greens, you've got your purples. There's 10 shimmers and 10 mattes. Usually there's more mattes than what there are shimmers. But I actually like this combination because I feel like there's only so many mattes that I need. I need a light, I need a dark, and I need a medium shade. And then the shimmers are what really transform each look and differentiate the, those looks for me, in my opinion, and how I do my makeup. So I don't actually mind the fact that there's more shimmers than normal. I absolutely love these £20 eyeshadow palettes, but they're limited edition, so if this is something that you're looking to get, then do get it fast because they do sell quite quickly and then people regret not getting them, just like Book of Magic. But this is actually part of the Christmas collection, but I feel like it should have been Halloween because, like I say it's giving me matrix vibes from the packaging and also it's dark fancy it's like grungy stuff like that and that's usually uh, that's usually halloween surely but yeah in this collection came the palette there was a brush set for 25 pounds which had like duochrome lids or not lids handles a pair of false eyelashes for eight pounds and then there was also these liquid crystal eyeshadow trios so these were 15 pounds and you get three liquid eyeshadows and they're the chrome collection so yeah, i actually got one of them on my lower lash line if you can see but yeah i'm just going to swatch these real quickly so we've got Selenite, which is a silvery grey chrome. Just one swipe. They are so pigmented. And then we've got Appetite. Appetite? Yeah. But it's not like Appetite like you're hungry. But that is a purple to blue duo chrome. Oh, they're just unreal. I don't think I own anything like this before, which is why I'm amazed. And then we've got Labradorite. Labradorite which is that one, which is what I've got on my lower lash line. And that is a green to gold duo chrome. But just look at those. They are actually amazing. I'm like obsessed with the colour payoff on these. So that's them. And that was, like you saw, just one swipe, which is incredible. I've not actually seen anyone play around with these, apart from like the promo photos. Right, and then I'm just going to swatch palette for you as well real quick but do ignore the cat scratches on my arms because my cat is a menace I don't know if you can see but my feet tan has literally stuck to them so we've got atmosphere which is a white hoax which is a brown transmission which is a gold like a um an antique bronzy gold shimmer which I haven't used yet to be fair then we've got plasma which is a green. These swatches are gonna be terrible, FYI, I'm crap at swatches. And then we've got virtual, which I do really wanna do a look with this. And it's like a sparkly black. I don't know if you can really tell on camera. Let me turn the lights down a little bit. Like that. Then we've got reality, which is like a burgundy shade, which is what we use today. We've got encrypted, which is a bronzy shimmer, which felt a little bit dry compared to the others. We've got slime, which is like a very vibrant green. This shimmer is absolutely stunning. This is machine. Oh, just look at that. Ah, oh, absolutely beautiful. And then we've got space, which is a dark green. We've got Nightmare, which is a little bit what we use today, which is a purple shimmer. And then we've got Grunge, which I absolutely love this purple matte. It's like a deep, dark, purpley matte. Then we've got Hack, which is what I've got on my inner corner. Told you these swatches are going to be dodgy. I need to practice my swatching, I'm telling you. And then I don't really like this shade. I don't feel like it was needed in the palette. But this is Algorithm and it's like a 
I'm just gonna put that there, like a pooey brown shade. And then this shadow is very interesting. This is Distortion, and this is the first time I've seen Beauty Bay do chrome eyeshadows in their palette. But it's got like a purpley brown shift to it, and it's super pigmented as well. And then we've got Dark Matter, which I'm gonna pop there which is a black, and it's a very good black as well. We've got Grime, which is a stunning, shimmery, what is it, like a, well, it's like a dark silver. Oh my God, just look at that. Then we've got Source, which I'm just gonna put over there. Oh, that's just beautiful. Code, which is a pure, true silver. Look at that, it just looks wet. And then we've got Hardcore, which is like a navy, look at the pigment. Oh my goodness. Those swatches are a mess, but insane. Absolutely insane. The pigment in this palette is incredible, but Beauty Bay are literally my favorite eyeshadow brands. They never disappoint. I literally don't have any problems with them. And yeah, this is just, I think this is my favorite color story. It is my favorite color story. I'm always saying I love depth and this has definitely got depth. And there's so many different looks that you can create. You can create green, neutral, purple, cool toned, warm toned so that is palette or swatch the duo creams or swatch and let's get into this eye look so this is the look that we have created so far so we've gone for quite a smoky purple like silvery purple on the lid and then the green on the lower lash line so first things first i'm just going to pat over some more base some p louise eyeshadow base on my eye this is in the shade two so yeah i already did pat some on but i'm just going to put some more on because obviously it's creased since i last did it and I'm just gonna take a flat headed brush and just pat that in. I'm not gonna lie, I did actually have some trouble doing this using the, not with the palette, but with the liquid shadows. Uh, they're very hard to use because I felt like when I was applying them, it would just remove off, remove anything that I had on underneath. So you can't put them over the shadow, which is fine because they're quite opaque anyway, but then you can't blend them out or blend them so that they can be quite harsh. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna have to play around with them a bit more and find like a good way to use them. Where they're quite dark as well, I wanted to blend them out a little bit so then they're a little bit seamless, but yeah, it's really difficult. Anyway, so we're gonna go into the palette and we're gonna use the black, this shade here, and it's called Dark Matter. And I'm just gonna take a bullet brush, like a pencil brush. So this is a P. Louise 264 brush. And I'm just going to pack that on into like the outer C. Let me take the stick off this mirror so it's very satisfying. This is a really good black as well. I'm also going to make sure I apply this on the outer edge of my lower lash line as well. So you want it to be very dark and smoky. I've packed that shade on and now I'm going to take a Morphe M506 brush and we're going to go into grunge, so the dark purple shade. And we're just placing that 50% on that shade, 50% on the skin and just blending that black out a little bit. Like that, so we're very, very pigmented at the moment. And now I'm just gonna take the Peaches and Cream PC22 brush, a very small blending brush still, and we're gonna go into the burgundy, so the reality shade here. Okay, so now there's not really like an in-between shade to help blend that out. So I'm gonna go straight in with the white, so atmosphere here. And I'm just taking a large fluffy brush. So this is a Morphe M513 brush. And I'm just gonna really try and blend out these edges. I'm taking it right into my inner corner as well. And just really soften it. You okay? Do you wanna go out? Don't, come on baby, go to sleep. I'm just a full, full on cat mom now and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Even though he is a menace. Oh my God, he is a menace, but he's so cute. Okay, so. So I've got my four shades and my four brushes. So I'm gonna go back and forth, light to dark, dark to light until I get the blend that I want.
And then we're also going to take it in on the lid as well. So I'm going to go with that dark purple shade and just blend out that black bit here. And then the burgundy shade. Okay, so now just add a bit more white here and blend these bits out. Now we're going to go in with a shimmer shade. So I'm going to use the purple shimmer, which is a nightmare. And I'm just going to pop it on my finger because I always feel, find that these shimmers work best on your finger. And I'm just going to press that on to the lid shade where I want it. Then I'm also going to use a bit of distortion. So this is like a, a duochrome, which is absolutely beautiful. And then I'm going to use Hack which is this shimmery, pinky, silvery shade for my inner corner. And this shade is absolutely beautiful. And then just between them, I'm just going to tap all between them so then they all blend seamlessly together. Like that. So easy. So easy. Oh, I absolutely love the, that's a, such a dreamy combination. Pop a bit of base on my lower lash line. So I'm just gonna wipe away this excess shimmer shade and pop a bit of base here. So I'm gonna take one of the liquid shadows. So I'm gonna use this green shade, which is Unreal. Um, and this is in the shade Lab, I can't read that. Labradorite? Labradorite? I don't know, it's like it's like the greeny duochrome and just watch, this is just going to transform the under eye. So I'm just going to, I need to look up. Boom. Instant. They are so pigmented. It's a joke. So pigmented. Um, so I'm just going to wait for that to dry a bit, but whilst that's drying, I'm going to use my Inglot gel liner and I'm just going to take an angled brush and I'm just going to pop this on in my waterline and on my lash line as well and then I'm just going to take a bit of the black mixed with a bit of the dark purple so the grunge shade on my bullet brush and just smoke out that edge of that gel liner just so that it blends seamlessly okay and then I'm also going to take just a fluffy brush. This is just a colour drained one. And I'm going to use a bit of plasma, so that green. And I'm just going to sweep that underneath this uh, liquid shadow. I'm also going to go back in with different pencil brush. This is just a Spectrum A27. And I'm going to go into space, so this dark green shade here. And just pop that on the outer edge of the lash line. And then I'm going to go back in with the liquid shadow. So I feel like as soon as you start blending it out with the shadow, you lose the liquid shadow. Um, and I'm just going to pop that again on this inner corner just to intensify it. I feel like these need to be the finishing touches that like you can't really blend them out, which is a little bit difficult because some where they're so dark, they can be quite harsh. And yeah, so that is it, I think. Was that it? Oh no, I'm just gonna press a little bit of code, the silvery shimmer. Just gonna press it on my brow bone. Oh my God, I think I put a bit too much. Let me just do this side to match. Glitter through the brow. I wonder if I can just... Glitter through the brow. You know, we're going full fantasy moment, I suppose. And yeah, that is it. So I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup. Then I will be right back and we can talk about the palette. So this is the finished look. Let me know down below what you think. And by the way, I'm absolutely loving this lip combo. It's very like vampy, gothy, but nude. And it is just the peach and cream hotline lip liner, which is the darkest one out of the peach and cream lip liner bundle with Doll Beauty Come to Mama lipstick, just a beautiful nude. And the P. Louise Lip Drip lip gloss in strawberry milkshake. I'm sorry, but it, is giving me life but yeah anyway back to the makeup the eyeshadow my thoughts on this palette is i absolutely love it but you definitely need well i would say that you definitely need to have another pa 
palette to accompany it because there's not a lot of blending out shades there's not a lot of transitional shades you've only got the white and that's it um, but there's so much depth you can create so many looks with this palette because you've got the burgundy the purple the blues the greens this duochrome like neutral shades there's so much that you can create but yeah I definitely feel like it needs more transitional shades if you were to do just use one palette but I've got those shades in my collection I love this palette I feel like it's so pigmented it's a joke it's got so much depth to it which I absolutely love and I just I'm just living for this grungy vibe that it's got this is giving me more Halloween vibes rather than Christmas but you know I'm still here for it but yeah I'm so glad to get this palette I think this has got to be my favourite colour story out of all these £20 palettes, I think. And the shimmers are so dreamy, they're actually unreal. So yeah, if you've got a palette that's similar to this, then obviously don't buy it. But I feel like if you haven't got a colour story similar to this, or you feel like you'd benefit from this in your collection, definitely pick it up. It is so worth it. I just love... The different like purple and green together it just screams halloween to me and i absolutely love it and then regarding the liquid crystal eyeshadow trio so let me just get them back out of the packaging i've put this on my lower lash line as you can see and i use this one that i cannot pronounce um like the greeny duo cream but these are amazing for like if you just want it one and done however when i go to either put it on top of eyeshadow it's a no-go because it just removes the eyeshadow underneath or if i want to blend it out again it's a no-go because just remove this to be fair because where it's so wet but like if you maybe this would be really good as a liquid liner so then you don't need to blend it out but because these are such dark sh shades like even this silvery one is i it's quite harsh on your eyes so then I feel like you need to blend the edges, but then if you blend the edges, it don't really work. I don't know, I feel like I need to play around with them, but they are gorgeous, gorgeous shades. Definitely, if you know how to use these, then pick them up because they are a bargain as well. And they are very, very pigmented, like the colour payoff is so good. So that is the end of this first impressions of the new Beauty Bay Dark Fantasy, Dark Fantasy collection. If you want to see more on this palette and those liquid shadows, then please make sure you comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this collection as well. Hopefully I shall see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, but until then, stay safe and I shall speak to you later. Bye.